to find keywords your competitors are beating you on. All right, in the previous strategy, we talked about looking for keywords a competitor might be getting sales from, but you might not even be ranked or indexed at all. Well, what if you're ranked on page four or five or six or even the bottom of page one, but most of your competitors are ahead of you? Why is this important and how can this make you money? Again, this is one of those no brainers. Obviously, you want to show up before your competitors, right? So maybe, you know, there's a keyword gothic decor and there's six competitors on that. There are coffin shelves and your product is also a coffin shelf. Now, the customers who are searching up gothic decor but are looking for a coffin shelf, they're not going to be considering all those other products on that page. There might be a skull candle holder or some sort of moon-shaped gothic decor things, right? They are looking solely for that coffin shelf. So it doesn't really matter what the position placement is because the first four products on that page might be something entirely different than what they're looking for. So it's almost as if they don't exist. Does that make sense? So in this aspect, what we call your relative rank is going to be important. Where are you showing up in the search results compared to your direct competitors? Because those are the competitors your product is actually fighting for the sale from. And how do you view that? Go into a multi-ASIN search, put in say a minimum of 300 for search volume and navigate over to the relative rank. And let's just say, hey, where am I at least three, four? Meaning compared to the competitor products in the niche I'm viewing, I'm at least the third one that comes up. Let's go ahead and click apply. We're probably going to have a lot of keywords here. Yeah, look at this, 38 keywords show up. And so again, these are all the keywords now where at least two of my competitors are beating me on. What if I wanted to see all the keywords where four of the competitors are beating me? Exactly, I would go in and put in a minimum of four in relative rank. Now, let me explain again how this relative rank thing works. Here we have coffin shelf and it says that the product is at least six over here underneath relative rank. That is terrible. This is the most important keyword for my listing, yet the product is not doing so hot compared to the others. So I can put my mouse over this relative rank, see where my competitors are ranking and then adjust my strategy. Now, the one that is my ASIN is going to be in bold because it is the first ASIN that I inputted into Cerebro. Make sure that whichever one that you wanna compare everything to is the first ASIN you enter. I can see where each of my competitors are ranking before me. We have one, two, another is nine, another is 14, 15, and there I am at 17. So here is a complete list of keywords where at least two out of my main competitors are showing up on page one before me or just anywhere in the search results. You know, maybe I'm on page two, maybe they're on page two and I'm on page five. Regardless, this is a great metric that you want to look at where your competitors may be beating you on. You're ranking for the keywords, so at least you're in the ball game, right? but you're not getting sales when your competitors are all showing up before you. This is just overall a quick, great way to see where your competitors are compared to you, find those keywords and figure out how you can use it to increase your rank. Maybe it's by putting some more money at your sponsored ads for these keywords and hope that your conversion rate goes up. The goal is to be first in the relative rank on your target keywords.